Victoria Beckham and David Beckham's only daughter, Harper Seven, is hopping on the TikTok train and looking so grown up. The 11-year-old made a cameo in Larsa and Scottie Pippen's daughter's TikTok, Sophia Pippen, on Thursday, with the two girls dancing, and Harper definitely has that posh spice rhythm. Harper's TikTok appearance comes just a few weeks after David shared a sweet post about his daughter and wife for International Women's Day writing alongside a photo of his two girls. On this International Women's Day, I want to celebrate the amazing women in my life who inspire me with their work ethic, loyalty, kindness, and love for their families. I feel lucky to have them in my life. Happy International Women's Day to all the incredible women around the world. Today, we celebrate you. At Victoria Beckham, hashtag Harper7. The Beckham family seem to always support each other. Earlier in March, the former Spice Girl received some family love as she launched her fall 2023 collection at Paris Fashion Week. David, Harper, and two of her three sons, Cruz and Brooklyn, were there sitting front row, as well as Brooklyn's wife, Nicola Peltz. The couple got married in April 2022 and have seen madly in love since, sharing sweet photos of each other on Instagram and supporting each other on red carpets. Last month, the 24-year-old aspiring chef shared with Access Hollywood that he and Nicola hope to have a big family. We have really adopted the, the advice of happy wife, happy life. Yep. Like you really seem to have gotten yep. it together on <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Who, who, how did you learn it? Who told you? And who was the example of like, well, listen, if it's going to go well, it's got to go her way in a lot of ways. In it was a lot my of dad. It was you, my dad. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm He was just like, just live life and just make sure your missus is happy. You know? That's I mean, kind of, that's what he told me. That's best. Of, that's, so, I mean, a good advice you can get, yeah. I think. I that. do everything to make her happy and make her feel comfortable. So it's good fun. You I know, love Girls it. run the world and guys just live on this planet. So You're not wrong about it. You are not wrong about that. I, I, it is cool to think <laughs> about your dad giving you that advice and now being, yeah. what, we're almost, what, a year now away almost. from the, the anniversary of you guys' wedding? Yeah, we got married in April last year, so. Doesn't it fly by? Crazy. Right. I love it, though. Yeah? Yeah, I, the thing is, like, when we were engaged, like, saying, like, fiance was just, like, annoying. I just, like, wanted her to be my wife. Yeah. Really? You know, now I can say, like, oh, my wife, you know. But I can still call her my missus, so. Brooklyn, I don't know that I've ever fallen in love with someone I have interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> in such a quick amount of time. You literally just said calling her my fiance was mm -hmm. like annoying because I wanted to call her my wife. Mm -hmm. That must be one of the sweetest things I've ever heard anybody say about their partner. But I, I, it is, there is something about the way, at least I'll say this, mm -hmm. and, I, and I hope that you understand this yeah. with the utmost respect. There is something about what you share in your relationship and the way that it encourages other people to mm -hmm. be loving and kind. Yeah to their, their partners, to recognize that loving and kindness in their, in their partners. I've yeah. seen headlines about you, like people are saying that we need more men like Brooklyn Beckham after they realize he's the perfect husband. <laughs> and I know that there's not a situation where you really are the perfect husband, yeah. but that you, it does seem to be an intentional um, uh, message that like, I love my wife yeah. and I'm doing everything I can to make her life yeah. as great as possible. Yeah, I mean, like, she's made my life a hundred times better. And, you know, I just think, like, it's probably the most important part of someone's life is finding the right person to, mm. but, you know, because that's your whole life after that point, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm just, I'm excited to be a dad and I just can't wait. Wait, so you do, you do want to do the, 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 the larger family thing. Are you guys going to follow your own models with, like, the big family? Yeah. I mean, I always say, obviously, I'm not the one having the baby, so it's however many she wants, but she's told me she wants a big family. Really? So, yeah. Okay, give me a range. Like, we're talking three to four, <clears throat> we're talking five to six, seven to 15, like, what's the situation? <laughs> um, you know, we've had conversations and she's like, oh, I kind of want four or five, and then we want to adopt two or three, so. Wow. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah.